Hello, I will now present to you two new data sets on the, um, that the BIS started publishing since yesterday, which are the U.S. dollar exchange rates and the central bank monetary policy rates. Let me begin with the U.S. dollar exchange rate. You can find information on this data set on the BIS website by going to the statistics menu under foreign exchange category, U.S. dollar exchange rates. Here you will find on the main page the data files and the data documentation right here. <laughs> This data set contains time series data for the currencies of approximately 190 economies at daily, monthly, quarterly, and annual frequencies. And most of these data start in 1957. However, you will find that some series actually go back much further. If you go to the statistics menu, uh, statistical tools in the Explorer, and on, on the left-hand side, you will find under the category of exchange rates, the U.S. dollar exchange rate. In this example, I would like to show you the longest series we have, which is on the United Kingdom. So I will click on the period averages and click on one of the monthly figures for the UK, and it will show you a graph of the pound sterling US dollar rates from 1971. To view the data again in the table format, click on the table name uh, I3. This data set is unique in several ways because it combines current and historical data in a single data set with the highest possible level of consistency and comparability across countries. These time series are available in multiple frequencies and can be downloaded conveniently in various BIS statistics tools, for example, here in the download menu in the Statistics Explorer as a CSV or a PDF. This data set benefited from the background information provided by the central bank on their time series and other international institutions such as the IMF. Let me go back to the main page of the Statistics Explorer. And lastly, these exchange rates are consistent and used as an input in other BIS data sets, such as the effective exchange rate series, the credit data set, the credit data set in US dollars, and and the BIS uh, FX adjusted changes in the international banking statistics. Let me now turn to the other data set that the BIS started publishing since yesterday, which is the central bank monetary policy rates. You will find this, the inf some information on this data set on the BIS website again by going to the statistics menu under other indicators under policy rates. Here on this page, you will find links to the data files, such as these, and most importantly, the data documentation. This document provides more details on the actual interest rate that best captures the central bank monetary policy intentions. For many central banks, the actual interest rates used for monetary policy purposes 
have changed over time. Let me go back to the bottom of this document. For example, for the United States, it shows that from 1985, the policy rate is defined as the midpoint of the Federal Reserve target rate, and prior to that, the U.S. Fed Fund's effective rate. The BIS collaborated closely with national central banks in the, select, in the selection of this policy rate. Let me go back to the policy rates page. This data set contains month, daily and monthly data with the earliest starting in 1946. You can visualize this data and compare across countries if you go to statistics menu under Statistics Explorer. And on the left-hand navigation, you will find at the bottom the central bank policy rates. Click on table L1. And here you are, will be presented with a table of policy rates across 38 central banks. This tool can be used to compare the evolution of policy rates across central banks and across time. In this example, I would like to show you the policy rates of the ECB, the Bank of England, and the U.S. Federal Reserve. Click on one of the monthly figures, for example, the euro area, and you will now be presented with a line chart of the monthly data. To add countries to this graph, you can go to the reference area dimension, and you can add, for example, the United Kingdom and the United States. You can change the time period shown in the graph by scrolling at the bottom of the graph, or you can click on the all at the above to show the full time series. This type of comparisons have in the past been shown on an ad hoc basis in BIS publications such as the annual report. But from now on, we will regularly update this data set on a weekly and monthly basis. Let me just repeat that the BIS collaborated closely with national central banks in the selection of these policy rates. However, this data cannot be seen as official as they are indicators built for research purposes to facilitate long-term and cross-country analysis. And this concludes my presentation of the two new data sets.